Hey, what's up guys? Bales here at Fantasy Labs looking at NFL player models and I wanted to show you um, how I use our lineup builder. So uh, second tab here in the top right um, and uh, you have the option with our lineup builder to use it as an optimizer, a true optimizer. So you can click optimize and uh, this will be the um, optimal lineup for uh, your particular model, whatever you've built. And um, you can see the uh, projected points here, total salary. Um, uh, you can actually see, because I'm looking at a past date, you can, um, after the fact, if you, if you change the date up here at the top, um, you can uh, go back and look at actual points. So this one uh, was projected at 167. It actually scored 177. So that would, uh, would have been a good lineup. And um, yeah, so you uh, can optimize. I recommend not doing that for a variety of reasons. Um, number one, there's every model has blind spots and it's not going to be so perfect that, uh, that you should um, always be uh, optimizing. Players have different ranges of outcomes. And so some, if, you're, if you're optimizing a lineup, you're probably not going to be use it, using it in a tournament. Um, at least you probably shouldn't be because the optimizer is, uh, is not taking into consideration um, uh, lineup construction and, uh, and um, ownership and things like that. Uh, but even for cash games, there's different correlations. And so players who uh, you know, are in the same game together, the optimizer is going to automatically filter out some of those that are definitely bad, like players against the defense. Um, but sometimes you might not want to take on a certain amount of risk and, um, or you might want a certain position in the flex that the optimizer won't auto automatically know. So I recommend um, building them by hand, just like you would on um, DraftKings or FanDuel. So uh, if we were to do that, you can uh, sort through the positions here at the top. You can also um, pick your slate. You can filter um, down to certain teams if you'd like. Um, but uh, the things that I'm looking for, really it's scarcity within the rating. So um, uh, you're not just blindly going to select the top player uh, in terms of your rating, but you can see Cam Newton here in this particular, in my model in this particular week from last year is um, pretty high above every other. He's, he's six point, roughly 6.8 points in terms of uh, rating, which is really like a historical percentile value in, in terms of um, where he ranks in my model. So, and that's, um, you know, a, a pretty sizable gap there. So that, that would be a, a, a good um, indication that he is um, probably a, a, a pretty good value who I might not want to pass up on. Um, and so you're just going through and uh, maybe selecting players, thinking about uh, correlations within games and what you're really trying to uh, to get um, uh, out of your particular line lineup, depending on um, on your goals and what type of league you're in. Uh, so um, one thing you can you can uh, build the entire lineup like that just by locking in players like this, um, or you can put in guys that you know you want and then optimize around that. And I think that's generally a pretty good tactic. So you put in your must-have guys, guys that you know you want in your lineup, optimize, and those guys will stick in the lineup. And then the optimal around that. Um, will uh will be built for you and then you can look at it uh, i also like to, to optimize the lineup just to look at it just to see what the model what a, a computer thinks is the pure mathematical best lineup because sometimes there's insights there and sometimes maybe there's a weird play and uh it, it forces you to think about why that guy might um why it might be wrong and the model is just missing something or why um you might be missing something and you just have a natural bias um and then lastly if you would like to um exclude players from the optimizer you can do that so let's say that you like this lineup but you don't want um ty hilton or amandola you exclude them and then you can re-optimize around it and the best possible lineup will be um reconfigured without those guys you can also uh exclude entire teams if you want here on the left any of the players team so you might do that it's not as popular in football but um just certain games you want to avoid. Uh, maybe it's really bad weather. Um, you just want to get away from it. You can do that. And then your excluded players are in this tab. You can click exclude. Um, if you want to return the entire team, you can do that. If you want to re return the player to the pool, you can do that, and they'll be back in there. So that's how I use the um, lineup builder. When you have a lineup that you like, you click save, 
and it'll go to the my lineups page and you can go there and see all of your lineups um, and also all of your player exposure and ultimately export those right onto DraftKings and FanDuel.